Hi guys, so um, the fan is very loud, so I have um, a quick discussion with you guys. Um, you see that uh, on pre my previous video, I discussed about uh, the air filter on the EG4 6500. You see right there, EG4 6500, and here is the filter. The air filter from the top right side and the left side, I remove. I remove it from the unit. That unit right there is run for a month or two outside of the garage on my test station, and you see how much dirt in here. Okay, so dust, right? D U S T. Okay, so this one. I have not put it back on yet, but this one um, is also run before that, and uh, you can see is this color. It wasn't completely black. Now it starts to kind of gray. Um, so before I run this that unit, this unit was also outside. It's run for like about a month. I was testing that unit as well. Uh, so then I took that one off. And that unit is arrived, so I put that one on and uh, make it run. And uh, so I bring this one, I hang it up. And now I look at the air filter on this one. Oh wow, it also have a lot of dust on there, right? So I would need to take that one. So I would need to wash this one first and let it dry before I remove that one and wash it and let it dry. So what if you have? two unit and you want to clean them out all at the same time or both of them running at the same time you then can buy this you see this one is a van filter okay so van filter you can buy this from the home department store and uh, you can change it out I mean you can cut it to the side I was use this one I was uh, try this one on the uh, Tesla uh, Model 3 um, in the air van and it, uh, it's not good for the Tesla Model 3 because when this air van is sucked so strong this one will just like boop it's dropped out there into the um, the, uh, the, 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 the carbon um, area below the, uh, the air van so basically this one you can cut it out You see the side of this and the side of this. Well, this one you can see through a little bit, right? This one is black, you cannot see it through. But let's put it on, like right here. See, you can see it a little bit, right? You see that? Yeah? Okay, so basically this is about the side. You can use a scissor and you can cut them. You can cut it out, and um, and then you can fit it right in here. Okay. So here you will see you will see the uh, the screw. This screw is the same size with the screw right under it, right under um, that door right there. That area is the same screw. But I was thinking that. Um, I was thinking that, uh, you know, uh, because that we will have to change this out often, right? Take it out to clean, uh, to clean it often. You see this one is have a little hook right here. You can ready set it on. No, actually it's, will, it's going upward. It's hole upward. You see up there? It's hole upward. The, uh, the screw is right on the bottom. You see the screw is on the bottom, so this one is stick upward. Now, what am I going to do with that? Um, so if we're going to take it in and now uh, more often, then we should use a tape, right? Okay, so you slide this one in like so. You slide it in. Let's go to this one over here. Make sure. 
make sure it stay uh, steady. Okay, so this one you I slide it in. Be careful, you don't want to drop it. Okay, you can see this one. You can slide up. Okay, and then you screw it in. Okay. You guys can use tape, duct tape. Okay, so let's say you put it on like this and then you slide up and then you use a duct tape on the bottom. Right? Okay, so use duct tape on the bottom. So that way you can take it in and out more often and you don't have to use the, uh, the screw. Uh, the screw will wear off, right? The screw will do wear off. You guys can use a screw until it's wear off. But, um... Use a screw until it's wear off and then you, you can use a duct tape. But I will use uh, the duct tape first and uh, save the screw there until I travel or something. And then I will put the screw on just to secure it. Because when I'm at home, I go up and down the garage and I'm working, so... I will uh, monitor it. Um, so the the duct tape, I will make a double duct tape. Okay, so one going up like this, and then another duct tape is going to be bigger or wider, and going over again. So that way it will hold this up. I know the duct tape is very strong, but I always do something twice, double it, double secure. Okay, thank you very much guys for viewing my video. Please do like, subscribe and check out the link below and help you uh, save the money and uh, please view my other video. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Have a good weekend and a holiday.